thank you all for coming this evening. Tonight we're here to listen to our wonderful musicians, our 6 through 8 uh, students, our band students. Um, I'd like to take a couple moments to thank a few people. So um, I'd like to thank Dr. Marinelli. I don't know, I, I don't know if she can make it this evening. Um, Mr. Capiza, uh, Dr. Pfeiffer, our assistant superintendent. Um, and also uh, we have our uh, K-8 supervisor of music, Mr. DeCorzo. Um, he's also uh, a 48 elementary principal. Um, and also, thank you to Mr. Uh, James Chiwala, Chewy. Please be working and tirelessly um, with all your children, and um, we know that they've been practicing so hard. So, um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything else. So, sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and good luck tonight to our aspiring musicians. And I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Chiwala. I know that you just heard the words sit back, relax, and enjoy. However, at this time, if you wouldn't mind, please rise for our national anthem. Concert. We hope that you enjoy our selections for this evening. Our first number will feature the students who are currently enrolled in the vocal music classes. This song was made popular by Sarah Borellis. We hope you enjoy our rendition of Brave. Oh, you can start speaking up. Nothing's gonna 
Written for the movie The Wizard of Oz, the song was used early in the film when Dorothy longs to escape her dreary life on the farm in Kansas. Sit back and join us as we travel over the rainbow.
Thank you, Ms. Spensick and the District Choir. I'm sure you'll hear more about that group later from Ms. Spensick. The group that you have here in front of you right now is the District Band. We played the Star Spangled Banner for you earlier. This band is comprised of students from all three upper elementary schools, uh, Lincoln School, Jefferson School, and Roosevelt School. It's sixth, seventh, and eighth graders who have chosen instrumental music uh, to pursue as their elective and their arts for the middle school years. We're very happy to have them here. Uh, special thanks to all the parents who have made this group possible. The sound that they get when they get together and they're really focusing and they're dedicating themselves to something that's bigger than themselves as individuals is so exciting to me. I just want to take a moment on my behalf and theirs. To I'd now like to call upon Zuli Arias, an eighth grader from Lincoln School, who's going to be telling you more about our first piece. A musical terms, a caprice is a lively piece of music that is composed to be virtuosic or show off the capabilities of the musicians. Tonight is no different. We hope you enjoy our caprice, written by Michigan composer William Hines. Thank you. 
2009. In addition to reaching number one on the UK single chart and Billboard Top 100 in 2008. Chris Martin, lead singer of the band Coldplay, composed the piece after seeing a painting by Mexican artist Frida Kahlo and was inspired by her positive outlook on life despite battling polio, a crippling disease. Viva La Vida translates to long live life. <laughs> from each grade level within the band and the jazz band. So this year, 
I'd like, with your help, congratulating and presenting the award for outstanding sixth grade district band member to Roosevelt School student, Allison McCary. And speaking of going above and beyond, there was a festival that was being held at Montclair State University a little while back, and I, I put this out to all the students. I said, hey guys, you know, there's this thing going on at Montclair State. Um, there's this thing going on at Montclair State coming up on Saturday, and if anybody is interested in doing this event, you know, I'll, I'll go, I'll be there, they're going to send you some music, you've got to learn it. And when you're in 6th grade, 7th grade, being told that, you know, I'll, I'll give you some music to learn, and you go play with strangers you've never met before at a college, there's a little bit of anxiety. But there was one student in particular who stepped up and accepted that challenge. And I wanted to recommend, and, sorry, congratulate and commend Haley Spahu for going above the office. goodness. <laughs> I just received a look of, you better turn over that mic. I'm truly scared. I saw the mob forming, but it was inevitable. I don't have to move the mic, you're right. Um, okay, I gotta follow that. Well, uh, unlike that, one person in this band that you will never really see put themselves out to be the first one to jump in front of a crowd, to talk, to, to do something for someone. I mean, he'll do it, but he won't jump up, he won't be loud about it. He just kind of sits there and he does it. And you almost don't even notice he's in the room when you have a music lesson until you get him to play. Because he's an excellent player and he just started this year. This is a student who just began in band in September and just took off. I've never seen someone make progress like this in the few years that I've been here, but really someone who just grasped the concept of the instrument and just wanted to go and wanted to play. For outstanding seventh grader, please congratulate Joseph Park. <laughs> Last one, I promise. It wasn't supposed to take so long, guys. Thanks. Um, usually, the eighth grade awards, I, I hold off until the high school band dinner. So this is something that's truly unexpected, because by now the 8th graders know my drill. I present an award to some 6th and some 7th graders, and yeah, 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 we'll see you know, what happens at the high school band dinner when we talk about us. Well, I have a lot more to say at this year's high school band dinner, because the seniors that are graduating high school were my first 8th grade class. So it's a very important occasion for me. Um, so I want to take the time now, and I thought it was more appropriate to recognize them at this occasion in front of their parents and their families and friends here at the district band concert, where they can get recognition by people they know in the audience, not just high school students who have yet to really know who they are. So the 8th grade awards, um, if you ever go into Jefferson School, walk up the steps and turn to your right, you'll notice there's two plaques on the wall. One is the Director's Award for Band, which is for the district band, and the Woody Herman Jazz Award, which is for the jazz band. And every year, I select an eighth grader to go up on this plaque. Their name is actually up there. Um, so this is a big honor for them, and it's my pleasure each year to present this award. This year, we will be adding to the plaque under the Director's Award for Band, someone who has given an outstanding amount of time and dedication to this band, and that is Eric Mangrum.
Now we present our final piece. One more time, Miss Elena Perez. Woo! Along with Nazli Tinaloglu and Kara Muller from Roosevelt. as a time to promote environmental awareness. H2 Overture is a medley of songs that celebrates water, one of the most important building blocks of our earth, and a sure sign of spring as it falls from the sky in the form of rain. <laughs> this piece, oh, thank you, okay. <laughs> this piece includes excerpts, or small parts, of several songs, including Handel's Water Music, Sailing Sailing, Sloop John B, Bloop the Man Down, Sailor's Hornpipe, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, Blow Ye Winds, Swan Lake, Volga Boatman, I Saw Three Ships, Warren the Build the Sailor, Anchors with a Wave, Shenandoah, Michael Road Boat Ashore, My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean, Drunken Sailor, Airy Canal, Swanee River, Down by the Riverside, Blue Danaby, the theme from Jaws, and finally, the words from See the Shining Sea, See, from America the Beautiful. Hi again. Um, hope you enjoyed our portion of the concert. Stay tuned for the district choir and our district jazz band.
widely popular jazz standard. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing has been made popular by multiple jazz artists. artists. Quincy Jones said, I can only hope that one day America would recognize that our indigenous music, jazz, is the heart and soul of, our, of all popular music and that we cannot afford to let its legacy slip into obscurity. appreciate it. Next, I would like to thank all of our upper elementary principals. I know I saw them here this evening. Mr. Michael Rizzo, Ms. Robin Greenwald, and of course our music supervisor, Mr. Joseph DeCorso. I also do need to thank members of our board, if you are here this evening, as well as our superintendent, Dr. Maranelli, and our super assistant superintendent, Dr. Pfeiffer. Without their continued support in the arts program, nights like this would not be their time at lunch in the morning whenever they see me in the hallway. Um, these students before you, the majority, they're not in class with me, and I cannot thank that enough. So, with that being said, I just want you to raise your hand. If I call you, I will give you your certificates at the end of the evening. So, my outstanding fifth graders are George O'Keefe and Courtney Baranek. These two, I have every rehearsal, it doesn't matter what has happened to them during the school day. They come into rehearsal.
and uh, Audrey Lockett, Kelly Maskey, uh, Aaron Alvarez, Karen Muller, Diego Cisneros, Mia Mullet, Michael Lovell on piano, Jonathan Trapali on tenor saxophone, and Anthony Severn on the guitar. Outstanding seventh grader for that, and that's Joey Castagnetti. All right, I'll hold off on this one. Uh, have you guys figured out?
with and go on tour and make you have a safe ride home. Happy spring.